Since moving to Hidden Valley 17 years ago, David Roberts has participated in the annual Christmas light competition every year. This is a teddy bear that sits on top of the uh, rocking horse. It's kind of a jigsaw puzzle right at the beginning. He usually comes in first or second, but that ranking comes at a cost. I've been electrocuted so many times it's not, I couldn't even count them. <laughs> there he is. The lighting competition, now in its 40th year, draws visitors from across the country to the small neighborhood just outside Reno. Merry Christmas! Roberts has been building elaborate Christmas displays for over 50 years. Now in his 80s, he says Christmas for him is the smiles of his visitors. I had a little girl, three years old, and it was her first Christmas out of the hospital. I walked around with her for about 45 minutes. Terry Durgan started bringing her children to see the Parade of Lights in the 80s. I always said to ourselves that someday, if we could afford it, we'd love to live in Hidden Valley and participate in the light displays. And eventually it happened. I mean, 40 years later, it <laughs> came to fruition, so it was kind of cool. Her display is themed around the Dr. Seuss classic, How the Grinch Stole Christmas. We have our own, our hashtag, we developed the hashtag Hidden Valley Whoville. People can uh, post their pictures on Instagram and whatnot. And here we have the village pieces. These are all new this year with the, um, the sweet shop and the street vendor. This year is a whole different animal with how much plywood prices went up. You'd probably see a lot more Whoville if the prices hadn't gone up so much. <laughs> Gift cards are given out to the top ranking houses, but the main gift is gratitude from the community. Because it costs money to run these displays, and so we're always grateful, very grateful. It doesn't matter if, to me uh, if I get first place or don't even get recognized at all. It makes no difference. I still enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs>